When I started climbing, I experienced a sense of freedom and challenge unlike anything else in my life. It's my birthday, I'm 24, getting old. <laughs> it was more than the muscular strain of pulling myself up steep terrain. There's Graham leading the first pitch. Something closer to blood in my mouth after a fight I had never experienced. It's pretty cool. It felt natural and pure. Rock and roll, go for it, we love you. Every step up the glacier was one step further into a secret the mountains kept to themselves. All I needed to do was learn, improve, and to survive. In a life in which I never, in a traditional sense, found God, the high mountains are places that for me represent the holy. The practice of climbing has been the thread that has wound its way through my life. It has been a handrail on which I have relied to keep me steady through turbulence. It has been a bearing to follow when the flow of my life has been tranquil. Love this. My life in the mountains has been a love story, as I have followed my heart into their depths and into the arms of an amazing romantic partner. It has also been a story of endurance, as I have persevered to summits and through the seemingly endless slog of a career fighting the climate crisis. When it comes down to it, we need systemic action in order to solve climate. And it has been a story of heartbreak due to the loss of partners and friends who are attempting to define the cutting edge of what it means to be a climber and a human. I have wondered if a balance between a marriage, a career, and climbing in the big mountains was possible. And if it was, what was the point? Why did it seem so important? Where should that line be drawn? Far away from so much that I love. I loved climbing just as much as I needed to ensure that I came home in one piece. I scolded myself for decisions that nearly killed me. I vowed to learn from them, to keep my mind and body sharp. With my body rigid and my breath held, I closed my eyes. I felt my existence shrink to a single point as I opened my eyes, placed my faith in an axe tip hooked over a fringe of rock, and moved up, silently repeating precision, strength, patience, until I lost myself in the methodical pattern of movement, thought, and breath. I was rubbed down to my raw essence. My soul was exposed. This is what you came for. This is what you yearn for. This is everything you want. Give me what what? Oh! Oh! I stared into the infinite, a place where everything could either end or begin. Ripples of light and shadow, snow and stone extended to every vanishing point until the earth blurred with the sky. I whispered a silent thank you to the mountains, accepting hazy recollections as my only lasting experience. And for me, this is it. This is the fine line.